I always believed. I always believed in Andre Benjamin. Andre 3000. To deliver a solo album. I knew he would do it. I never once doubted him in that regard. A genius like him, sure, might hit a, a big obstacle. might go through some things that might hinder the creativity but like many of our geniuses and heroes he was always figuring it out and today as he always tends to become a trending topic you know, every so often, you know, walking around in Japan, playing the flute, at a Starbucks, playing the flute, or just the lovely interactions that people have with him just out in public. His spirit moves through social media and people just speak about him in this light that is just lovely. And Killer Mike recently revealed on Sway in the Morning, which is a great interview, by the way, and spoke about how Andre has a solo album that I guess he's supposed to be finishing up and he has nine songs and that in a few weeks they're supposed to be flying out to go listen to this album now I understand when I was in the ninth grade or the tenth grade Stephen Hill did the same thing and we did not hear this come from Andre's mouth. But in, by no means, right, am I like, it's not gonna happen. Or am I saying like, what a lot of people have said, where it's like, oh, I believe it when I see it. They said the same thing about Michael Archie, D'Angelo. And I've said it before, when I was like, yo, Black Messiah is coming, y'all. Black Messiah is coming. Black Messiah is coming. There were people that messaged me and said, yo, don't hold your breath, bro. Like, it ain't coming. If it said it has been coming for 14 years, it's over. He ain't doing it. But when Black Messiah finally came, those same people were like, you're right. And I just kept it humble, but I really was like, yeah, I know. And again, because I know that because geniuses always figure it out. And beautiful spirits people who are spiritually aware, they're always going to figure it out because they're moved by something so powerful. And it's like, you heard the scientists and the engineers song. You saw my reaction to Dre's verse. You mean to tell me? And, and it's so funny seeing so many people on Twitter share the same 
sentiments as me because like I don't even care if Andre sings. I don't care if he just sings in an off-key falsetto or plays the flute, plays strictly the bass clarinet, whatever. I will buy the music. I won't just stream it, but I would definitely open my wallet, my DoorDash money, <laughs> and I will use that to buy everything, CD, cassette, vinyl, I don't even care if it's on a USB, it's all getting copied, and in multiple copies as well, because if I scratch up something, if I run it down and uh, it starts to stick, at least I got three, four more copies to, to hold on to. So, we will see as time progress what will happen, but I'm super excited. Still, and I've never lost my excitement. Like, you can literally see in every video that I've talked about this man to Andre. And I, I never gave up. I never doubted it. And regardless if it is the case or not, he can... Uh, he can drop it at 60. Or like he said, if he, can, if he hopes to catch a second win at 80, if he drops it then, it will definitely be the case when he drops it at 80. So, Andre, I'm here. We're all here to shop the window to... Bask in your greatness. And I most definitely can't wait to do it. Much love. God bless you.